Hey there everyone, um, we sent a load of stuff today, Heather and me here, just right now with this great big poster in the background there. Um, when you walk through the fire, someone has just sent us a very helpful reminder, maybe you know who that is, because um, you're out there and you're watching all the way a few thousand miles away from where we are right now. Um, a helpful reminder that when you walk through the fire, God has promised to be there, and that's a, at least a particular reference to um, uh, three people, a guy called Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, um, better known by their Babylonian names, which were um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were threat friends of Daniel, who was thrown into the uh, lion's den. You remember that story? Um, and God sent an angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. And there's a story um, called Pilgrim's Progress, where the uh, pilgrim is making his way to the promised land, to heaven. That's what it's all about, really faith and trust in Christ and he's confronted by two lions and he's really scared to go through this particular way and then he realizes that they're on chains and they can only go so far and there's a gap between those lions and he gets there um, and he, get, he gets to where he needs to go you know God sets the boundaries for the troubles that we go through and it might feel uh, like what you're going through you might look at what we're going through um, with our beautiful daughter and the, and the family as a whole and you might think well that's a trouble too far but the, the lions and the troubles are only allowed to go so far and God has promised to be with us and those three friends remembering their proper names there which I gave right at the beginning of this they um, were thrown into the, this fiery furnace by Nebuchadnezzar um, and they said you know if, if God saves us and he's well able to do that that's great and he can he can easily save us and if he doesn't we're not going to bow down to anyone else um, and I, I kind of spit those words out now and I mean them in truth we're not going to bow down to anyone else we, we trust in Jesus Christ as our saviour no matter what and that his will be done the Lord's prayer not my will but your will be done as is done in heaven let it be done on earth because God knows best and when you're you know whatever you're thinking about what I'm sharing right now you'll know that um, this picture will resonate with you that um, we don't see the big picture easily enough and if only we could see the the front and get a little glimpse every now and again or you know we kind of want to see the front of the picture because we just see the back of the picture and we don't we can't work out what's going on a bit like the back of a tapestry and all the strands are everywhere but something beautiful is going on so let's not waste the troubles that we go through no matter how difficult they are Lord, I pray that you give us the strength to cope and give our daughter and, and our lovely husband uh, and us all, a lovely son and daughter-in-law, give us, Heather and me, the strength to cope with these difficult days that we're going through. We have faith in Christ to do whatever he wishes um, in our lives. And if it plays a little part in you coming to faith in Christ, man alive, can't think of anything better um so plenty of tears plenty of difficulties but god's got us in hand what do you say Heath? Amen. there you go a wise woman has few words <laughs> this is a wise man <laughs> <laughs> a wise word i don't know i can't say anymore love you all